I think a fantastic display, a poor, uh, poor result of course for us. Our expectancy was uh, was was to win at Old Trafford, to be fair. And I think uh, the, what we can say is that uh, that uh, we uh, we managed to create so many opportunities at Old Trafford, and that they should have translated into a more positive result for us. Um, I mean, glad enough that uh, that it uh, played to the spectacle that uh, everybody wanted, because it's uh, it's fair that that uh, that we should um, emphasize that because the game belongs to the fans. Uh, very very unhappy with uh, with the poor performance from uh, from the referees, uh, which uh, which in the end uh, had, um, had a decisive uh, uh, role in the result, and uh, I don't take it very very lightly uh, because uh, it's uh, it's on uh, on those on those two first goals and uh, and two first goals in uh, in Old Trafford two 0 at uh, before half time plays an important part and you expect uh, the linesman to do his uh, his job already went uh, went further ahead with the situation by speaking to the to the correct people so I wouldn't like to extend it too much publicly because it, I don't think I should do it but uh, uh, we all feel very very down when uh, when uh, the referee had such an impact on uh, on uh, on the result uh, anyway uh, very very happy with the display. Very very happy with uh, again uh, showing our resilience and our ability to come back from uh, such a negative impact. And uh, and uh, and again very very unlucky not to go to three two and three three. How is Fernando after that miss though at the end? And, and will he play against Fulham? It's not a question about an individual player. I mean, very very happy with how the team respond and then uh, we managed two days. Uh, to train coming back and everybody is uh, is uh, strong and with the correct frame of mind to to, uh, to change from one competition to another. Will the team be totally changed for this Carling Cup game? Uh, no, I mean, uh, basically what I've said before, and, and I think uh, I think uh, opportunities will be given to our youngest players, uh, and uh, I mean, uh, and, and reaching more or less a uh, starting level will not be difficult for you guys. Uh, I mean, the rest uh, we have to uh, we have to put ourselves, of course, in a situation where we can try to win the game and try to continue in the competition, and uh, and that's what we're going to do. Um, one of the talking points from Old Trafford was Frank Lampard being substituted at half time a couple of years ago. That would have been unthinkable. What do you say to Chelsea fans about Frank Lampard right now? No, I think uh, I mean there's there's nothing. Uh, this was the decisions that, that that we had to make. Bearing in mind the the result at halftime, and um, it was an attacking substitution that that we thought uh, played right, not because um, Lamps was uh, playing bad, because he wasn't. He was having quite an impact in the game, and, uh, and re he recovered a couple of important balls in our in our uh, midfield, uh, and he had a couple of shots. Um, so uh, nothing based on uh, on uh, on his display of Old Trafford because his display of Old Trafford was was good. It was just that something that uh, that we had to do during the game to to adapt the team to a more attacking uh, uh, style. Uh, not that he doesn't give attacking style because he he does it and he has proven it uh, in his career. I mean, so uh, I mean nothing nothing uh, dramatic. Frank is a fantastic player and he will be one of our key players as of the others for the rest of the season and, uh, and uh, nothing, basically.